What is going on, folk? It's Monday today, so I figured we would start out the week with something pretty simple while I have a couple of shooting games waiting for you guys later this week. So today, we're checking out this puzzle game where instead of completing a jigsaw puzzle, we're attempting to take it apart. And it starts out pretty easy, right? With levels like these, where we really just have these ordinary bricks that we have to try to take apart. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward so far. Uh, except which one do we say? Oh, that one, of course. But I'm gonna show you guys how difficult this game actually becomes later on. So let's jump into one of the later levels right now. I got to level 28? 26, alright. So let's jump into level 26 and you guys can see just how many different types of tiles we now have <laughs> to deal with. There are quite a few of these and I'll try to explain how each of them works as we play. So first of all, there's the explosive yellow sign in the top. You guys can see that means we can click one of these to swipe it into the explosive. Every time we see an explosive, we can swipe something into it. So for example, we can use that one down there, and now we can throw this one over there, and what do we do now? These green ones, by the way, we have to untangle in the correct order. So for example, this one in the top, we can do like this. We can swipe that one up, um, and now we can take this one over here. So that is how these different types of uh, brick elements or tile elements work out. It really becomes a rather difficult game over time, but it's still decently relaxed, and that's that's actually why I like the game so far. Uh, what can we do now, though? I guess we can take this one down there. Yes. Awesome. It feels so great to figure out these puzzle elements here, like figure out a way to solve them. Um, where do we go now, though? We can probably... Oh, I see. We can do like this. Awesome. And then we can... Mm, uh, nope. I don't even know what can we do now, guys. We can maybe use... Huh, this is where it gets tricky. Okay, this one, of course, of course. Why didn't I see that one? All right, and what else can we then do? Can we... Mm, we can take this one down there. Nice, nice. All right, and what else? Oh, we can untangle that one now. That's cool. Uh, and we can take that one. Nope, we can't take that one. Okay, hmm, what do we do now then? What do we do now? This is the exact feeling you guys will get as you play this game. Basically, what do I do now? Just sitting there staring at the screen for maybe 10 seconds. Oh, that one over there. 10, 15 seconds until suddenly it hits you. Like, how did I overlook that one? And then you can go go untangle that brick that you just noticed. Mm, we're doing pretty good here, though. I feel like we're starting to make some actual progress in this level. Yes. Yes, this is going great, guys. I have a feeling we'll be able to finish this one. Rather easily, we can explode that one. Uh, we can of course use some hints, by the way. That's part of how the game monetizes. We can choose to use a hint. I have 11 hints. Not really feeling like using one of them, though. Um, this one, of course. Why didn't I see that? Of course. And then we can explode this one. And explode that one as well, so we don't need those anymore. Interesting. Oh, and these ones over here. Yes, there we go, guys. Look at it. Look at us go. Wait. Of course. There we go. Awesome. There's one of the later levels, though, and what we saw just there, which Nimble Wife will have edited out, I hope, uh, was an advertisement. So that is how the game monetizes through ads, and then we can choose to buy premium, which is gonna cost us two US dollars, but it will unlock all of the levels immediately, and there'll be no ads, and we'll get unlimited hints. So it will make the game, I guess, rather, you know, rather easy if we have unlimited hints, but of course you can always choose just simply not to use them, which would be honestly be, be my recommendation. So what we have here in this level seems to be a new puzzle element that I have not seen so far. So what does this one do? Oh! So all of the blue ones that have the same shape have to move in the same direction at the same time. That is interesting. So look at this, guys. Let me just show you a bit more clearly. We can probably move all of these other ones. Alright. So right now we should be able to take this one and swipe over here. And as you guys can see, both of those Wi-Fi sign tiles will move to the right. And we can do the same by swiping up here and then down on the last one. So this is yet another puzzle element added to the game. And whenever a new puzzle element is introduced, we get a few levels where it's only that puzzle element. But then later on, it's gonna be all mixed up and weird with all the other puzzle elements. But the game could have actually become a bit more difficult if the developers had chosen to set a limit on the amount of times we can try moving one tile. Because right now, we can just we can just give it a go. We don't even have to look at it. We can just give it a go, swiping until we hit something that can be swiped in any direction. We can just do like that over and over again. And there are no there are no limits to the amount of times we can do that. So if they were to make the game a bit more difficult, these developers, they could definitely have done that. But so far, it's just a pretty casual game that I'm quite enjoying. I think we can move all of these. That is nice. You make a lot of progress when you finally find one that you can move. 
Um, these ones we can't move just yet, though. Oh, wait, now we definitely can. We can move them all down. There we go. Easy peasy, no biggie. But there are 100 and, what, 150 levels? Yes, 150 levels, and I'm only in level 29 so far. The game is out, by the way, both on Android and on iOS, and you can even play it uh, in the browser as well. So if you're on a PC, you can go play it right now in your bra uh, browser on websites like Congregate, Miniclip, and so on. Let's just see if we can finish this one last level here, and then I'll end up with a awesome mobile gaming fact of the day. But first of all, oh, we can move those to that side, and it's pretty easy at this point. <laughs> but we are still just being introduced to these levels here, I suppose. But now, for the mobile gaming fact of the day, Angry Birds, guys. Yes, the good old Angry Birds is apparently really far from that, because the Angry Birds 2 game grew its revenue 44% this quarter. I honestly really find that impressive, I mean, with, with such an old game at this point. I don't know how they really did that. I mean, I don't know anyone who plays Angry Birds anymore, but apparently some people do, maybe mostly kids, I'm not sure. If you guys know anyone still playing Angry Birds, please do let me know down in the comment section down below. And I mean, they do have 8.8 .8 million daily active players, so there are definitely quite a few people still playing Angry Birds. But guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like. If you did, be sure to download the game if you enjoyed the game as well. Download links in the description box down below. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.